What are you doing here? You're trying to attack my house. Go the fuck away. Go the fuck away. Go the fuck away. It's simple. Go the fuck away. She's so pretty. Why don't we just let her get away? Right? 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 Go home. Why don't we just let her get raped right now? Yeah. Yeah. Of course, to have a baby. That'd be great. Okay. Hey, I would care. Full time. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you would. And you'd be totally tested. She already is. I'm not the one who is. Yeah, you can go. You can go. You're right. Because you know what? We're a little older We're than you, little together. girl. We're going to stay together the rest of the day. How would you say you're for women, but then tell We're going to stay together and rape? Shut the fuck up, man. How would you say you're for women? Why are you going to have a woman? Why are you going to have a Why are you antagonizing people? That is disgusting. No, she's sitting with your elders. Hi, my name is Jessica Newell and I'm the president of a Students for Life chapter at Coastal Carolina University called Illuminate. I am a pro-life activist and I stand with Students for Life in their mission to abolish abortion to make it illegal and unthinkable. This clip that you just witnessed was taken at the Washington DC Women's March this past weekend. What is a women's march? According to their website, they are committed to dismantling systems of oppression through nonviolent resistance and building inclusive structures guided by self-determination, dignity, and respect. Are you guys fucking each other or something? Are you guys fucking the poor life women down there? Are y'all are y'all fucking each other? Cause y'all got the white hands that you guys are do something tonight. Are y'all pedophiles? You guys have pedophile leader, miss. <laughs> They claim to provide education on a diverse range of social issues and to support women in every stage of their life. Ironic, isn't it? As pretty as their website may sound, being there in person is a completely different experience. I can tell you with full confidence that the Women's March is actually enhancing social injustice and it puts vulnerable women at a very dangerous crossroad. These women who find themselves in an unplanned pregnancy, who have been sexually assaulted, who have been traumatized, they have so much deep pain in their lives and abortion is going to only increase that. This is why I do not march with the Women's March. Organizations like this pry on vulnerable women as an opportunity to take their money, their dignity, and their life. I was out there with Students for Life on a Saturday morning holding a standingwithyou.org sign saying, we have free and confidential pregnancy resources. I was also holding a picture of an ultrasound to say, this is a real human being in your womb. Don't internalize those lies that that is a clump of cells. These are lies. It is not your it is nobody, nobody else has the right to use your body against your will under any circumstances. This is why we are required to sign a, a um, authorization in order to donate our organs after we die. In that scenario, not um, saving somebody's life is a completely different See, they, they thing from actually drugs. deliberately no, killing a human yeah. In an abortion that strips a baby of their body and their life, and, and so in an organ donation, that's your body, your organs, your choice. That's yeah, another but, body that's being affected. But the uterus is my organ. The uterus is my organ. That is my organ. I'm not stealing your organ. Well, actually, the baby... after birth, uh, you still have your uterus. Well, no. <laughs> We stood our ground, spreading the message of truth through our megaphones, chanting things like, abortion hurts women, and women deserve better. Let their hearts beat. This is the truth about abortion. Abortion kills an innocent human being, and it hurts women. I was physically and verbally harassed, being told that I should get raped from an organization that supposedly supports women. These people who are spreading this evil oftentimes don't even have control over their own selves. Let me tell you something incredible that happened. I didn't know what was going on. This woman could not be controlled. After trying to stand my ground, she would not lay off. So I said, in Jesus name, I cast the demon out of you in the name of Jesus. She said, F your Jesus. And then she got breathless and needed to take a break. This was the only time that she let her guard down. Hey, Jesus name, fuck I ahead. The demon fuck your Jesus. You in the name. Fuck your Jesus. Fuck your Jesus. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Come on. I've had an abortion. I had it when I was 18, 40 years ago. I wish you had these to go She needs to go. I know that the only way we can truly change hearts and minds is through spreading the message of love 
the love of God, giving the love of God to other people who may never have experienced it before. As someone who generally avoids talk of religion or Jesus in a situation that is purely biological, that made a significant difference and ultimately it blew my mind. I did not expect that to happen. This aside, I am here to spread the message that the Women's March, the abortion industry, Planned Parenthood, they do not care about women as they claim to. It is quite the contrary. As a woman at this supposed women's march, I stood out there with the sign for free confidential pregnancy resources and an ultrasound image being peaceful. I didn't have a megaphone at the time that I was being harassed and I was surrounded at every single corner by pro-abortion people who wanted to shut my message down. According to the Women's March and its pro-abortion followers, I should be raped because of my pro-life views. It is totally valid for me to be verbally and physically attacked as a response to providing free resources to women, and women should not have these resources because that takes money away from the abortion industry. <laughs> If you find yourself in an unplanned pregnancy and are in genuine need of love, support, care, free resources, you can reach out to standingwithyou.org. The pro-life community has got your back. You are so loved and there is another way out. You do not have to choose abortion. We're here today at the Women's March to protest the right to an abortion because this is not constitutional. Everybody deserves a right to life. You can't have any other right without having the right to life. Now, all of these people who are preaching for abortion rights, they have been given their life. Their mom chose life for them and yet they're abusing their life to oppress others. So we just want to be here and stand up for those who can't speak up for themselves.